Directed energy weapons are as real as cell phones and computers, and defense contractors have been mass producing them for decades. These weapons use a wide variety of technologies harvested from the nuclear and medical industries in places like CERN. The recent rise of artificial intelligence has made these weapon systems even more nefarious with concepts that are light years ahead of where they should be. Not only in terms of size and power, but in the most advanced energy weapons are using concepts known as quantum tunneling. These weapons generate high power microwaves that cause electrons to tunnel and stream through shielding in a process that is also known as electron tunneling. Many other revolutionary energy weapons now exist that are hybrid in nature and are, and are part particle beam weapon and part invisible laser that can be turned to the microwave or infrared spectrums. The military industrial complex, as Eisenhower used to put it, has turned our communities into giant open air prisons that nobody can escape from. Soon you will need permission to leave your 15 minute district as they will slow kill victims with eugenics programs and death towers. Understanding how we got here is a complicated history lesson, but energy weapons were rolled out and embedded into the infrastructure over the past 20 years as we innocently slept in front of our televisions and as we doom scrolled from one crisis to another. The targeting for most victims begins either at the home or with seemingly random zapping attacks while driving near death towers, cell towers. This is also includes concussion wave and rumble attacks that not only come from cell towers but from smart infrastructure as well, such as smart meters, CCTV cameras, and street lights. These attacks continue to progress in their intensity and their frequency as the Skynet Internet of Things activates more smart devices to join in. Victims will also experience headaches, nausea, extreme fatigue in the initial phase as part of the softening up process. This is all part of the strategy to progressively take people out, like stages of disease, and this process is part of a psychological harassment campaign against the victims as it attempts to wear them down and terrorize them. This is my latest read I'm doing here. It's called The Transhuman Genocide. You might want to get that. It's a very good, easy read. And it goes through a lot of this electromagnetic stuff, uh, you know, that we're being bombarded with right now, okay? And this stuff, you really need to look into this stuff, okay? I have done a lot of homework into the EMFs, Electronic Magnetic Frequencies, and there is a lot to it, all right? If you guys are following the med beds, okay? That's basically a, a thing where you lay down in a bed and they use frequencies, okay, on your body and stuff, right? So we know that frequencies affect your body. It's a fact. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to go for the med beds. So just keep that in your mind. All electronic, um, you know, interference with your body causes you some type of harm. Okay, now there's a book that you guys can get. It's called Dirty Electricity. I highly recommend you guys get that book. Before Stacy and I uh, were moving off grid, we were trying to figure out why we weren't feeling that good and, you know, kind of irritated and not sleeping well. And, you know, we just started deep diving and we knew it was our food, a lot of processed food, a lot of things you can't pronounce are in your foods. We knew it was some of the environment, you know, the formaldehyde in your carpet or maybe the fluoride in your drinking water and all the other chemicals you're being bombarded with every day. But then we also started to think about what about the electricity and we got this book called Dirty Electricity. And then it really started clicking, okay? So then when we moved off grid here to our log cabin, we live in this log cabin over there I built myself and we live off grid, no public utilities and no you know, power and we have no outlets in our house. And so we've noticed over the 15 years of living here that our health is getting better, we're more aware, we're more cognitive. You know, just all of these things, our health is better, we're sleeping good, you know, all this kind of a stuff, okay? So then that really clicked, man. It was like right on, okay? So then, now we we have proof positive that this works because we have been the litmus test, right? Now, I want to I wanna let you guys know that that is the goal, is to get everything electrified and smart metered and your appliances on your home. Everything's going to connect to the dark web, so to speak, Okay? Um, I ran across a patent. There's a bunch of stuff going on with this stuff, this biometrics, and they're, they're out after our 
our DNA, they're out after our biometrics, they're out after everything about us, okay? All your genetic makeup, the, your body has become the new commodity, in case you guys aren't paying attention, all right? This is what they're doing right now, they're setting this up, okay? Because they want all your biometrics, they want you in the system 110%, and this is how they're going to do it, okay? So I was uh, fumbling around and I found this a while ago about Apple. Apple was coming out with some new earbuds. Oh, hold on. Let me back this story up a little bit. We have a conference that we hold and it's a, we have it in the springtime. And uh, one of the guys was there and he was wearing earbuds. Okay, a lot of people wear these. They're very popular. I don't have a pair. I'll tell you how I got these in a second. But that's this thing right here, right? And then you shove this thing into your ear. A lot of people are wearing these. They're very popular. Okay. So I saw him wearing one of these, and he's one of us. He's a homestead homie. He's like a guy who watches our show, and he probably shouldn't be having this in his ear because we say don't wear this stuff, right? And I'm going to tell you some more stuff in a second. Don't go anywhere. So, uh, you know, I started talking to him and stuff, and I asked him to get rid of these things, and he said that, you know, he wanted to make a trade. He felt bad. He left, actually, the conversation. He came back later, and he said, you know what? You're right. And uh, I don't. I just bought these things. They're like 200 bucks. And he said, you know, I'm going to feel bad if I just throw them in the trash. Trade me something for them, just anything. And I took my neck knife off, and I traded him my neck knife for this piece of garbage right here. Okay? And I've been wanting to do this video and stuff, but I've just been, you know, you know. <laughs> All right, so this is the ear pods. Okay? This right here is called the Trifield Meter. All right, and on this tri-field meter, you can read uh, magnetic and electric frequencies standard, and you can read magnetic and electric uh, frequencies weighted, and you can read radio frequencies, RFs. Okay, so it has all the frequencies there. So if you turn it on, we're sitting outside right now, and this is the reading that we get. You see that? Yeah, it's pretty low on the scale of things. And to be honest with you, right above my head are the solar panels. Watch this. If I lift this thing up more, oh, you won't be able to see it. But the higher I reach it up to the solar panels, you can see the thing's starting to go, right? But down here, you can see I'm pretty safe. Okay, this is electro me. You guys can pick one of these up for yourself. It's like 100 bucks or something, 200 bucks. And I take this thing everywhere. I actually bought one of these for my friend, and I gave it to them, and they drive around, and they're, <laughs> they're starting to freak out on how much we're being bombarded with electricity. All right? So stay with me now. This is the ear pod. This is the gauge. Okay? This is without opening them. Okay? So right now, they're basically turned off. As soon as you flip the lid, right, they turn on. See that? Now, when you take it out, and I'm telling you what, man, I've had these for a couple months now. I've never charged them or nothing, and they're still charging. Look at all that electricity. Just off of this one, can you imagine if you had two of these in your head, one on each side of your brain? It's just causing the meter to jump all over the place. And then once I actually connect them to the Bluetooth, it's a solid line off the chart. Well, the earbuds that you guys are seeing right now on your screen, this is the patent that Apple has, um, you know, registered, and they want to be able to collect all of your bio data. If you are wearing one of the watches, it's doing the same thing right now, creating pulses into your body, blasting you with EMFs, and it's recording all of your data. That data is not just for you. They actually send that data off to Apple. They have a huge list of now of all people's heartbeats, you know, how much they're walking, everything about them. Okay, this is the this is the information that they're going after now. And it's really something to watch, all right? So this uh, ear pods, the Apple says, they're going to be able to monitor your, some of these words are going to be tough now, bear with me. Electrian synphalography, <laughs> EEG. In other words, the aim is to directly record the user's brain waves from tiny sensors positioned within the ear canal. The EMG, electromyography. This records muscle movements and information can be used to help understand facial expressions and jaw movements related to emotion. Do you guys understand that we're basically volunteering? You're actually buying those things for two, three hundred bucks. You're paying two, three hundred bucks so you can feed them all the data so they can create their AI and robots off of our stuff, right? Our movements, our eyes, everything. That's what they're doing. They're mapping us out. And we're volunteering for it every time you buy this stuff. 
They want to do galvanic skin response, GSR, which provides an indirect measure of emotional arousal, that is the strength of the emotional response. The blood volume pulse, this is the measured using the photo lensomography and provides information about the heart rate and the heart rate variability. In other words, the aim is to collect very comprehensive set of neurological and biometric data from the users. I just want you guys to understand where we're going, man. You guys got to understand this stuff. Okay? Try to get this book, if you can, Transhuman Genocide, and give it a read. All right? This is a very good book to read. I'm, I'm into this book right now, reading it, and it's very large print. It's easy to read. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good information in here. And if you guys are noticing that these towers are popping up everywhere, you might notice that you're a little more irritated, can't sleep as well. You guys, if you're not getting your sleep, that's when your body repairs itself. If you're not getting that deep sleep from like 10, 30, 11 o'clock to about, you know, 4 or 5 in the morning, you're always in this constant state of sickness pretty much. And all of this EMF frequency stuff is always pressing against you, okay? Trust me when I tell you this. It makes you irritated. And there's a lot of things that the, how this affects your body and what's going on with yourself. Okay, so please look into that. If you can get one of those meters, get a meter and try to drag it around your house. Go put it up to the outlet at your house so you can see what I'm talking about. All right? And just do your homework. Okay? And I'm, me and Stacy are living this life, right? So we're proof positive. We know. We've seen the benefits. We feel the benefits. Right? So I just thought this was very interesting about these things right here. This patent is full-blown, going full board. Everything coming out right now is about getting your biometric data. Blackstone just bought Ancestry.com, right, for some billion dollars or something. Blackstone, okay, and then the CCP owns 23andMe, so you have nefarious people already collecting all of your <laughs> DNA data, right, and those swabs that they shoved up your nose, I was on that right away. I said, man, that's the largest DNA grab in human history, okay. Where did those swabs all go? Seriously, all those people standing in line, don't you remember? Be careful out there, you guys. All right, share this video with your friends. They might not know this information, but all the smart meters coming into your house are all connected to the dark web, and they're all doing the signals. And eventually, further into the future, who knows what, maybe they can send a signal out right into your ear pod, and you fall right on the ground. Maybe they can send one into your home, and you touch something and that's it for you right there i don't know <laughs> but all i do know is this stuff right here all this electromagnetic frequency stuff is dangerous all right see you on the next video before you get out of here too this is another reason why i'm a little spooky on jd vance vice president for uh, pick for trump okay so you guys go spend some time looking up jd vance go look up the business that he owned okay where they were taking blood from young people and infusing it into older people okay this is for real and then go look up that Theo guy okay because that's his buddy they're in the Bilderberg group and this is the kind of stuff that they're heavy into all right so please spend some time researching that all right almost forgot <laughs>